Oh, hello there, everyone. It's another wonderful day at the laundromat. I'm so glad you could stop by. I met a really nice young man on the way to here. He reminded me of myself when I was a young lad. Oh, how time flies. I think we should get started, and I think you know who we're going to ask. If you've got your recorders ready to play at home, then let's get going. George? Oh, I'm feeling wonderful, Matt. Today, I saw a big, beautiful butterfly that was all the colors of the rainbow. And I know it's going to fly off and do great things. Ah, the little things. Tumble, tumble, tumble. <laughs> How are you today, Hank Ankle? Oh, I'm pretty good today, Mr. George. That's great, Hank. How'd you end up in such a good mood? Well, I'm going on a fun camping trip with a good friend of mine. We're going to run with the coyotes and have a big old bonfire. <laughs> Now, Hank, don't forget what we learned about fire safety, eh? Uh, I know, I know. I've learned many different lessons over the years. <laughs> oh, yes, Sir George. We've had so many great times here at the laundry mat. So many great lessons, so many great guests. Ah, so many great memories. So many fires, so many great accidents, well, so many uh, great well, well, spills. Well, 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 I, I, don't, I don't know if I'd call those accidents great, Hank, but we've certainly shared a lot of wonderful memories. Sir George, Sir George, can I go on my work walk now? <laughs> of course you can, Matt. Now, kids at home, are you ready to go on Matt Wall's word walk? That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, have fun. Let's go! Hi kids! For our final episode, we're going to say farewell. But first, we're going to spell it out. Yes. Farewell! So, can somebody ask audio to turn up the house? F stands for friendship. Even when you say farewell, it doesn't mean you stop being friends. A stands for au revoir. That's French for goodbye. Thank you. R stands for retirement, which means when people get older, they usually stop working and take the time off to relax. Ugh. E stands for enjoy yourself. Sometimes when things come to a close, you need to remember there are still good times ahead. W. Um, oh, w stands for. Uh, w stands for. Uh, I don't think I can do this. I'll be in the trailer. Alright, I can do this. Tumble, tumble, tumble. <laughs> Alright, W stands for wasps. They're gonna sting you and give you big bumps on your body. It's gonna hurt. E stands for electric ease. They'll shock you real good and make your body shake. Tumble, tumble, tumble. L stands for leeches. They'll bite you and suck you dry. The second L stands for lemons. If you put slices of them in hot water and stick them in your hands, it'll make them smell real good. F-A. R-E-W-E-L-L -E -L. Oh, that spells farewell! Oh, yeah! Oh. Hank, do you know what happened to Matt? I don't know, he just sort of ran off. Hmm. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Sir George. I think I got, a, I got a piece of lint stuck in me eye, so I started to tear up a bit. But I'm all better now. Uh, are you sure, Matt? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm not totally fine. <laughs> okay. Well, today I'm going to be saying farewell. 
Now, we know we've, <laughs> we've had a lot of great times together, but it seems like I've just about reached that age where I should probably retire. So, since this is going to be our last show, we need to be sure that this is our best show yet. Does it really have to be our last show, Sir George? I think so, Matt. I wouldn't wor worry, though. We've got a lot of fun still planned. Ah, you know I always trust you, Sir George. Now, you guys all remember that beautiful butterfly I saw, right? Mm. Look at this. Oh, wow! Oh, boy. Big boss. Did you make him a new friend? I sure did, and I'm going to show you how to make them a fun friend, too. Now, here's what you're going to need, okay? First thing you're going to need, some coffee filters, pipe cleaner, watercolor paints, and get a couple of newspapers so you don't make too much of a mess. Holy polyester! Mm. And what you'll also need, obviously, for the watercolors, is you're going to need a small little glass water with some paint brushes, of course. Now, the first thing is first. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take one of these coffee filters, you want to flatten it out right on top of the newspaper there. Then open up your watercolor paints and make sure to get as much of the paint on there as you possibly can. I've combined the purple, I've combined the blue and the red to make a nice little purple. And uh, it's going to look very beautiful. Now, what you're going to want to do is take this and you're going to leave it to dry. And we don't have a lot of time since it's TV, so I'm going to show you what that'll end up looking like. Once it's dried out and it looks a little something like this, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to fold it back and forth, just like this. And I'm not super perfect at it, but honestly, it's the effort that counts. Now, once you've got it all wrapped up, just like that, you're going to want to take a pipe cleaner, pick a color that goes good with it, then you're going to, ri whoop, <laughs> you're going to want to wrap it around. Just do a little ditty, just like that. Bend the, bend the pipe cleaner just like this. You have two little nice antennas. <laughs> now, it's not the most beautiful looking butterfly, but everybody's unique in their own way. Now, Matt, Hank, what kind of butterflies do you think you guys will make? Oh, I want to make one that's black and brown. I want mine to look beautiful and be covered in pretty colors. Oh, that's fantastic. And what do you think your butterflies are going to do? Hmm. Hmm. What do you think, Matt? Uh, I want mine. Where are we? Oh boy, I'm going to make a butterfly that's red and white just like me. He'll fly around the laundry mat picking up people's clothes that have been left behind. <laughs> that's awesome. What about you, Hank? Oh, I'm going to make one that's black and brown. Oh, oh, and he's going to live in the sewer and become the king of the rats. <laughs> and the first king of the rats that's secretly a butterfly. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You two are both so creative. You know, we've made so many fun crafts over the years. I mean, so many fun memories, so many just great people. Hey, Sir George, I made a little something special for you. Oh, yeah? What's that? Hold on, now let me find it. What is this? Don't you know, Sir George? It's a VHS tape. Oh, I, I know what a VHS tape is, but I mean, what's on it? Well, you'll just have to find out, Sir George. Hmm. We do have a VHS player. Hold on. Now, how does this thing work here? Grab the popcorn, man. Oh, gee whiz, Hank. It's Christmas Eve and I don't know when it's at George's. Well, we probably got a tech or some wallaby. Who cares? Ho, ho, ho! It's me, Santa Claus. Just kidding, it's actually Sir George. Right now, we're floating in space. Happy birthday to you. If you guys work together, you'll get past all the lasers. Oh, man, we're never getting out of here. This is impossible. No, mission is impossible, Frank. Stop it, stop it. I hate birthdays. Hey, guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to paint happy little trees. Woo. Tim George. Oh, baby Matt, I can't believe it's our wedding day. I know, me and I want it's so good. Oh, Matt kissed me. I've got 
a very special guest today. It's a real life gingerbread man. Hey y'all, it's me. Today, we're celebrating Christmas. No way, I love Christmas. Happy, oh, oops, I mean Merry Christmas. How you doing so far, Matt? I'm not really sure, Sir George. I never went to art school, you know. I'm a knight. Today, we're going to be mixing two very dangerous ingredients. Over here, we have sodium carbon oxide. And over here, anthrax. Let's see what happens. Careful, Sir George. See that reaction? It's too green, I don't like it. Sir George! Sir George! Oh my god! Was that, that, was that her first word? That was her first word! Sir George! And you're not wrong, because it's Jesus' birthday! I love Jesus! Let's sing the ultimate Christmas carol! Yay! Woo! Happy birthday to Jesus! Happy birthday to Jesus! Right, got to get some laundry in here. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh George, what are you doing? Oh my, oh my God! Holy, holy, your stuff. I'll be my drive. <laughs> that was fantastic, Matt. It's so nice to look back on all those memories. <sighs> I can remember some of them as if they were yesterday. Why didn't you include that time I arm wrestled a bear and won? Um, me. Well, because it didn't, that didn't happen, Hank. Oh, yeah? Well, not yet, buckaroo. Well, Matt, I think I might be time for the mail. Are you ready to go and read it? Uh, yeah. Sure thing, Sir George. Let's do it. All right. We'll head over to the couches, and we'll read some mail right after this commercial break. <laughs> I didn't see you there. Uh, I'm Professor Bobby Rex, and I'd like to talk to you today about something a little near and dear to me. Have you heard of my so new when, book? Uh, it's called this, The Little Eyeball That sure. Could. So come we on we down time, and like crazy. buy this book. Mm -hmm. And here's another thing. If you call in the next two to three minutes, I'm going to throw in another pair of books for free. That's three books plus the one you paid for. That's four books absolutely free for you. Now, one sec, I got something else to tell you. Join me over here. Wait, 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 wait. That's, that's not it, okay? If you join now and you buy this book, I'm gonna throw in double that. That's, that's eight book, eight books. Just don't, don't leave. I got, I <sighs> what a great time I've had with you all throughout these years. Matt, would you like to grab the mail out of the basket? Um, I can't seem to find it, Sir George. Wait, what do you, what do you mean, Matt? Well, I think it's gone missing. It must have slipped away and disappeared. Well, did you, did you check your backpack, Matt? I mean, sometimes you forget stuff in there. No, I never forget, Sir George. Besides, I would have checked my backpack in the first place. So there's no reason for me to check again. Well, isn't this a bit of a situation? I wonder where it could be. Oh, 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 I know, I know. Maybe, maybe a bear ate it. I, no, no, Hank, a bear, a bear didn't eat the mail. That couldn't happen. Did you happen to have something to do with this? Oh, no, no, no. Why would I have something to do, anything to do with, you know, the mail? Come on, come on, Sir George. Well, I get mean, together. we all know sometimes you can get up to some silly pranks. Look, look, it wasn't me this time, Sir George. You gotta believe me. I have big retirement plans for this day, and you know, I really want to get out of here nice and quick. I want to wrap things up. Come on. Well, that certainly is strange. We need to find it so we can read it to all our friends and viewers at home. 
Let's go looking. All right. Oh, man. I can't wait to retire. I'm going to have big plans. It's going to be so much fun. Oh, yeah. told you anything about my retirement plans? Oh man. Okay, well for starters, I was thinking about climbing the tallest mountain and sleeping there overnight. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool, right? Eh? What do you think? Oh, and then I'm going to adventure through the Amazon and leap over every big river. Maybe I'll even go running with the bulls too. I bet that would be super fun. Maybe I'll even eat sushi or, or moldy bread or even rocks. Oh, uh, th then I will find a bear and arm wrestle with him. Brr, brr. Or, or, or I'll go snorkeling with some dolphins and show them how good of a swimmer I am. Oh, uh, what if I went skydiving? That would definitely make people think I'm tough. Maybe I could marry a snake too. Only tough guys marry snakes. I wonder what white water rafting is like. I saw a movie about it and the people in it said, it was the best experience ever. What if I went to Mars and found some weird looking aliens that had like, oh, I don't know, toes coming out of their ears. This is gonna be such a cool retirement. There's so much I can't wait to do. Don't you agree, Dylan? Well, Let's watch some cat videos. <sighs> Retirement. I'm happy. Hey, Hank, uh, you want some bleach? <sighs> this is quite unfortunate, viewers. We really can't seem to find the mail. We looked in quite a lot of places, but it's nowhere to be found. Does this really mean the show will never answer, George? Well, you know what, Matt? I don't think that's necessarily how it works. I'm really sorry. Hey, Matt, you mind if I look in your backpack just in case? You know, uh, just, you know, who knows? Uh, I don't really think that's necessary, Sir George. No, don't worry. It'll only take uh, a quick second. Careful, that's Proda. Look, Matt, the mail is in here. I thought you said you double checked if it was in here. Dirty sock. Did you fib about having the mail the whole time? I'm really sorry, Sir George. I did have the mail the whole time. I just didn't want the show to end. I've had such a great time here. Well, thank you for admitting that, Matt. I completely understand what you're saying, but Matt, just because the show is ending doesn't mean the fun adventures will stop. I mean, I plan to do a lot of fun things during my retirement, and I know Hank Ankle does as well. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do so many, so many great manly, manly things. Yeah, and you have a wife and child too. I mean, I bet you guys have lots of fun things planned with them. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> we sure do. And the audience at home, I mean, they'll have many different fun adventures to come, and I mean, who knows what we might all get up to. You're right, Sir George. I'm really sorry I hit the mail. It's no problem, Matt. Now, shall we read the mail one last time? All right, Sir George. The oh. first one comes from Anakin from Poland. And he says, Hey, Sir George, I've been watching your show for 30 years. I started watching as a small child. And for the past three years, my son has been watching you too. I just wanted to say you've been such a great host. And I hope you've had a great time in your retirement. 
home. Well, thank you for the good wishes, Anakin. It must be pretty chilly in Poland, eh? Well, I'm very glad you and your son got to watch me throughout these years. We've had so many fun adventures together, so never stop adventuring. Who's the next one, Matt? The next one we have from Stockholm, Sweden, from a man named Rickard Larsen. He says, to, to Sir George, Matt and Hank, I have a 10-year-old son, and I've been watching your show with him for a long time. His mom says that he should eat his vegetables <laughs> at dinner. But he says, they look a little weird. <laughs> Do I need to help him be? <laughs> well, Nick, you right? your mom is, is right, you know? You should definitely eat all the vegetables at dinner, but I will let you in on a little secret, okay? Sometimes, the food that looks super weird actually tastes super good. Did you know that there's a fruit called a rambutan that looks just like this? It may look really, really weird, but it actually is super sweet, and it tastes like lemons. All right, Matt, got any other mail? We have one last one. This one is from Reese Hamill. Hmm, that name sounds familiar. Hi, Sir George, Matt and Hank. On your very first episode, you featured my letter and one of my paintings. I was very young back then, but you showing my art actually did mean a lot to me. I continue to practice every day, and now I have to admit that I'm a lot better now. Here's one of the latest drawings I did for you. It's of you guys. Thanks for being awesome. I just wanted to thank you for all these years of fun times and for helping me grow as a painter. Yours sincerely, Reese Hamill, Michelle Klaus Real Estates. Wow, that was really impressive. You know, I'm so glad you wrote to us again. Your skills as a painter has grown so much. If any viewers right now enjoy painting as much as Reese does from that real estate, whatever it was, you should definitely pursue schooling in it and practice every single day. Wow, that was one really, really great last mail. Huh. It sure was. We've had so much fun mail over the years, from kids to adults. I've been quite glad to hear all of your stories and questions. It was so nice hearing from you all for all these years. Yeah, it sure is, Matt. Well, now that we've finished the mail, I think it's time to finally say goodbye. Oh, oh no. What, what is this I'm feeling? You're feeling what we're all feeling. Indigestion? Oh, I'm gonna miss you guys. <laughs> oh, sorry. I need I'm, to go in the dryer. All right, guys, guys. It's gonna be okay, I promise. Sir George, really? What is really? going to happen to the laundromat now? Is all the magic going to disappear? Uh. Matt, how do you think this place was so magical to begin with? Well, what I mean, for years I've said the magic is all around us, but I never meant that the laundromat was the only magical thing. All the magic you could ever hope for is right in here. Oh. I'm really going to miss you guys, but don't forget, because we, even though we won't see each other as much, we're still going to have a lot of fun adventures, and we're still going to be friends. That sucker! <laughs> Tumble, tumble, tumble. Just never forget, guys. There's magic all around us. Because in the magical laundromat with Hank and Matt, we're finally going to say farewell today. Goodbye, guys. Goodbye forever. Goodbye. Bye-bye. At least until the reboot. Gotta love those guys. I hope you guys enjoyed your stay at the laundromat, boys and girls. And um, for the last time, I bid you a farewell.
So you're the new laundromat owner, eh? Yes, sir. Thank you. 